Hi everyone, this is Jana Smokula and thank you for stopping by. This video is a part of a Cyber Monday blog hub from Simon Says Stamp, bringing back from the vault the Lawn Fawn Merry Christmas stamp set. This set was an exclusive set during Stamp Tambor last year and it was hugely popular. So today, Simon is bringing back this set. You can purchase it if you'd like to have lots of fun creating hilarious Christmas cards. I missed this stamp set the first time around, so I was very happy to learn that Simon will have it back in stock and available for purchase, as I think this set is simply so adorable and so stinking cute, you cannot go wrong with this. So if you're looking to send a card to somebody with a nice sense of humor, this is a great set to get. I'll try to keep this video short. We still have family visiting us from Ukraine, so I'm trying to spend as little time away from them as possible, so a lot less time crafting for me. So I hope you don't mind this video being a bit shorter than usual. I'm starting by arranging images I want to stamp onto a sheet of white cardstock. This is Nina Seller White, and I already have it placed inside my Misty stamping tool. I'm going to close the Misty door, pick up the images and ink them up using Simon's Intense Black ink. I will be doing some basic Copic coloring. So this is why I'm using this particular ink. I'm double stamping my images to have a nice crisp black outline. And I'm also stamping the stocking image one more time because I'll need more than one of that image. I'll actually end up using three of those for my project. I did use Misty to do my stamping, but don't feel like you have to use it. It does make the life of a stamper much easier, but you can still stamp all of these images using a clear block. To do my coloring, I'm using several colors of Copic markers, and I'm going from dark to light. For my reds, I'm using R39 as the darkest color, RE29 as the second darkest, R24 as medium color, and R22 as my lightest color. I have very few markers in my stash, so I just stick to one marker combination for reds, greens, browns, and so on. To color my mice, I'm using warm grays, but first I'm coloring the insides of the ears using R20. For my warm grays, I'm going with W5 as the darkest color, W3 as the medium, and W1 as the lightest color. So I'm not using a lot of markers, just a few colors. And I'm simply adding some shading to the areas that I feel would be darkest on these images. To color cheese, I'm using YR14 as the darkest color and Y35 as the lightest color. Now these images are small, so you don't really need to use a whole lot of colors to have nice coloring. And to color the ribbon on the cheese, I'm using my regular red color combo that I just mentioned. I'm going to use coordinating dies and will cut these images out in my die cutting machine. Once that is done, I'm going to work on my background, and here I have four and a quarter by five and a half inch panel made out of sea glass cardstock from Simon Says Stamp and a diagonal stripe background mounted onto the door of my regular size Misty. Again, you don't have to use Misty to do this, to stamp this, but ever since I've gotten this tool, this particular size Misty, I've been more successful at using my six by six cling stamps. I'm now confident that I will get perfect impressions, and I'm not afraid to use these large stamps anymore. In the past, they would sit in the basket and I would just occasionally reach for a stamp or for one stamp or another. And now I'm using them on almost every card of mine. So here I'm inking my stamp using Simon's embossing ink and stamping it several times to have the most perfect impression I can. I will be heat embossing this using Hero Art's white embossing powder. You could also start with a white cardstock panel and stamp this background in light blue color. You could use the same sea glass ink color from Simon and skip heat embossing. You'll end up having pretty much the same background in terms of color. But I wanted my background to have that raised texture and shine that you get when you do heat embossing. So this is why I went with heat embossing here. I'm going to preheat my heat tool. This one is fantastic. It gets very hot and your paper warps a lot less when the heat tool is hot. For my sediment, I decided to go with Naughty or Mice and heat emboss it in Simon's Antique Gold Embossing Powder onto vellum. So I cut a strip of vellum about two inches wide and about an inch longer than the width of my panel. So probably five inches or five and a quarter inches long. And I heat embossed my sediment in the middle. I did end up trimming the vellum panel down slightly so it wasn't as wide as I felt it was a little bit too wide for that particular sediment. The reason I trimmed my vellum longer than my panel 
was so that I could wrap it around the panel and tape from the back. Vellum is very tricky to adhere. There are just very few adhesives out there that are completely invisible under vellum. So whenever I use vellum or transparency, I tend to just wrap it around the panel and tape it from the back. I arranged the images the way I wanted and used foam adhesive to adhere them in place. At first, I wanted to place these mice inside the stockings, but later decided to just spread them around the sentiment and the top part of the card to make my project a little bit more playful. I also added a strip of red cardstock at the bottom of my vellum panel. I didn't like it later, so I removed it and I only kept a small red and white twine bow. I felt like that red strip was just a little bit too much on this card. I used Ranger Stardust Stickles Glitter Glue and added a generous amount of glitter to the white areas on my die kits. I also came in with my Wink of Stella glitter pen and added a little bit of shimmer to the red sections on my stockings. It doesn't really show well on camera, but it looks beautiful in real life. I made two cards today. The second one uses the same supplies, but has a slightly different design. I'm curious to know which one you like better. I think I prefer the one with the red banner, but I do love them both. I forgot to mention, well, actually I didn't film that part, but I blended some Malibu ink around the edges of the Naughty and Mice card just to darken them a little bit and help guide the eye towards the center of this project. So this finishes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I do have a giveaway happening on my blog and there's also a blog hop, so be sure to check that out. There's a link to my blog in the video description. If you'd like to see what supplies I used for these projects, I'm listing them below in my video description and again on my blog. On the screen you're seeing a few other holiday videos I have on my YouTube channel. Feel free to check them out for more inspiration. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Bye!